Where's your chum? Oh. You just went, you better not cry. <laughs> That's so sad. Not even the happy part of the Christmas song. <laughs> I think my tits clapped. <laughs> You better not cry. Poppy just goes, why are you so awake? Oh look, I didn't take my mascara off last night. Oh well. <laughs> morning everybody it's Friday morning it's almost the freaking weekend and I got up super early this morning and um, had a little tidy up it's 8 22 I'm showered I'm done for the day oh my god what was that and we are all gonna go for breakfast this morning this is my current outfit this is a top by Zoe Carson it says kiss the boys and make them cry I really like it. Then I've got my little like Baker Boy hat on. This is from ASOS. And these trousers are from And Other Stories. I just need to work out what shoes I need to wear. I don't know whether to wear, I think just Converse. And a big old coat because my gosh, it is cold. It was almost like after Halloween, it was winter. It was so weird. The 1st of November outside was freezing. And now, like, look, it's all misty. I kind of love it because it actually feels like winter now, which I love. Oh, I had my nails done yesterday. I don't know if you're going to be able to see the color of them because they're like opaly glitter. Hmm. Look, oh my god, that's so pretty. I am obsessed. Maybe I need to put them in different light. Yeah, I love them. And these are my real nails, guys. Have you ever known me to have nails like this? They're my real nails. Alfie's still in bed, so I don't know if he's coming to breakfast. I would quite like if he did come because it would be fun, but I've been packing up all the Halloween stuff so sad ready for another year although i think i might leave these candles out because they're good for fireplaces for christmas but i'm starting to make a pile of the plates the big old pumpkin thing the scary ass masks that alfie had and the pumpkins and then i filled these three boxes i do need to properly go through it and decide what i want to keep for next year and not but for now we've put them in these boxes to put up, back up in the attic ready for another year of halloween fun oh no Look at this pretty little spider web that's just about to get absolutely ruined because I'm about to drive this car. It's so pretty. Damn it. Sorry, spider. Oh my God, I've just realized the whole of this roof is like covered in cobwebs. We're in six now. I can't take my coat off because I'm still too cold. Yeah. Poppy and Sean are matching. Which one's Poppy and which <laughs> one's Sean? <laughs> you guys are so cute. Hi. We did it. Attention. It's almost like that time that me and Alfie both went to Waitrose with yellow jumpers on and we looked like dickhead minions. <laughs> <laughs> this reminded me of something. Oh, what did I remind you of? Basically, I was driving along the road somewhere. Can't remember where I was. You weren't driving. And then I wasn't driving, I was being driven somewhere. <laughs> And there was two people, just two people standing at the bus stop and they both had light colour jeans on, light blue colour jeans on yeah. and they both had yellow jumpers on. Yeah, so it was very <laughs> nasty. No, it wasn't. <laughs> so they basically, they were just standing near each other. They didn't know each oh. other, but they were both dressed like minions. <laughs> so I shouted at them oh, and I God. said, minions! <laughs> Why? Why did you do that? What did they say? They said... <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Breakfast has arrived. Oh, Look at Poppy. She was like, I don't just want a normal <laughs> breakfast. I want the biggest breakfast oh, you can find. Bread. It is exactly what you got just in the bowl. I think there's Thank more. There's more. There's there is more. more. Sean's got what I'm you just got? happy that I've got two of these. <laughs> <laughs> two, two frying pans on my breakfast plate. They're sauce pans, Sean. They look the same. <laughs> we 
finished breakfast, it was delish. And now we've come into IGG to have a little nose around because this shop is lovely and it smells delightful. I also bought Alfie some of his favorite vegan sausage rolls from Bo, which is next to six, um, because I think it will make him happy. Smelling. Is that a carrot? What's that? The carrot one? No, tomato. It's that's not. why you love it. That's why I love it's it. It's carrot. Let's so smell the carrot. They're putting your hair in it, Zoe. Why? <laughs> <Have> I? <laughs> I went right up oh, in there. Oh, I like there. that. That reminds me of something when I was a child. I mean, I don't need any more hand wash, <laughs> but. <laughs> love the ones in your Maybe for Christmas. In my stocking, Alfie. <laughs> Hi, Gigi. You, Gigi. We are Gigi. We are Gigi. <laughs> I need to get some milk. Where's like the oh, best place for milk? Co op. Right. Okay, what's the look today, Zoe? I'm already showing this. Yeah. I just wanted to show it with my Converse and my jacket. I love it. I love that jacket and that hat together. Twelve, twelve. If you can't do a lookbook in front of a cheese shop, then you're just not doing it right. <laughs> I'm going to leave my milk and sausage rolls there. Um, Poppy's going to take some pictures of me. Like that, but with you in? Yes, yeah, standing. Okay. And then maybe I'll try some sitting. <laughs> Perfect. Thanks, love. No weather. Look at my milk. <laughs> can you see? I can see the sea. Can you see it? Can you see it? I can see it. I can be it. <laughs> you can be the sea. A, B, C, D. You can be can... anything if you want to be. <laughs> Oh, I don't want to go home. I want to go on many adventures. No. <laughs> nah. No, I'm going to go home. I'm good, thank you. No parties for me. Watch that big poo on that path. Ew. Um, Poppy and Sean are going to come over later because they're going to help me decorate. Oh, he's not. Oh, Sean, what is wrong with you? Laser. Laser. Anyway, I'm off home. Oh no, I need to open my car. Would you mind getting my yeah. car? Oh no, it's what? all going wrong. Oh, I thought you stood in the pool. I was going to get really sad. No, I was going to hold this. Wait, for so you. are you coming back up here now? I'm going to Or are you walking here. into town? No, we're getting. Okay. You're getting a lift. <laughs> okay. So can you imagine if I had to film every second of my day? Oh, sorry. Oh. <laughs> if I had to film every second of my day? I mean, they would be. It would be pretty long. It'd be 24 hours long, Zoe. I feel like I should do it one day. Just film the whole day and time lapse it. Oh, the whole day. Just no speaking. Well, like, maybe naked. I just won't time lapse it. Naked too. Like poo. I don't get naked now. I don't get naked all day. Having a wee. Yeah, I would film me having a wee. You little funny hat. <laughs> My funny hat. Would you film Your you having funny a poo? Hat. Out. Out. <laughs> is this Christmas Anytime. music? No, this is Halloween video music. I don't really know what it's playing. I've had a PO box delivery, so I'm going to go through some of this stuff. It looks really great. We've got some things from Joni. Oh, that's a pretty little dress. Lovely. I love Joni clothing. Oh, cute. We have some Kylie lipsticks. This chair's annoying me. Hello. Where you been? Come this way. Hello. Where you been? Where you been? What you doing? What you doing? I'm gonna sit there, right in front of it, so no one can see. Velvet liquid lipsticks. Oh my gosh, there is so many shades. Look at all these beauty shades. I feel like I should probably be properly going through it, but I'm just kind of having a little look. Look! Dan and Phil's Truth Bombs! You wanna play it? You wanna play it? <laughs> the Explosively Honest Party Game. This sounds great. Thank you, Dan and Phil. Um, I'm like the biggest lover of games. So, oh, sorry, Dan. <laughs> So I am gonna put this in our games drawer and we can play this next time we have people round. Ooh, this looks good. Chroma Glow. <gasps> Ooh, it's a palette. Shimmer and Highlight Palette. 
look at this look at this nala what do you think do you like it nala meets grumpy cat in petlandia <laughs> oh my god <laughs> this actually has nala in it nala this story is about you dear zoe and alfie we hope you love reading about nala's adventures with grumpy cat <laughs> From Amy and Team Petlandia. Nala, look, this is you. You want to read it? <gasps> look, there. There's you. Meow. Are you enjoying this? She's more interested in the cat than... Who's that? Well, thank you, Petlandia. That's very cute. And Nala enjoyed the pictures. Come out to get petrol, and I've sent Alfie in on a mission to get me a chocolate bar. I have no idea what he's picked. He's having a good think, though. I said, if he brings me out a whisper or a bounty, then that's like top tier good boyfriend points. I think he's still trying to make up his mind, though. <laughs> he obviously wasn't that confident with his choice. <laughs> I reckon he's got a few just to play it. Do you think? Yeah. That's I not fair. That's like <laughs> cheating though. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, where's my chocolate bar? Sort this out. I did pick you up a whisper. <gasps> and then I put it back. <laughs> <laughs> oh! My God, oh, I said you like, would get top boyfriend points if you got me a whisper or a bat. duo as well. Why wow. would you do that? And I don't like I Yorkie. I prefer this and look how big they are. I don't like Yorkie. <laughs> right, that's it. <laughs> no, I was going to high five that guy for the vlog, but you stopped filming him. Oh. <laughs> it's been one of those days where I just haven't filmed a lot because I've been doing things I can't really film. Myself and Alfie actually just went and viewed. I'm really out of breath because I just ran right to the top of the house to get my camera and ran back down again. <sighs> Me and Alfie actually just went and viewed some office spaces, which is very cool. Um, I don't know if you guys know. Oh, To be honest, I've always worked from home. I enjoy working from home. But as I want to do more things and I know I need to grow more of a team, I know I can't make everyone come to work in my house and actually it's probably not the best for the whole kind of work home divide and also as me and Alfie are getting older at some point there will be children and at that point I don't want like a team working in my house I want my house to be my house so planning ahead and um I think just taking on like a bit of a new adventure really. I'm quite excited about it, but we are looking for a bigger office, um, somewhere we can really make our own and make really cool. And so we went and viewed loads of different places today, which was really exciting. Like I haven't felt this excited about something in such a long time, like work-wise, just because, I don't know, it just feels like something really fresh and new and yeah. Um, I mean, I don't know how long it takes to do these things, but oh my god, you made me jump so much then, Jesus Christ. Um, but yeah, that's what we've been doing all day. So, um, Poppy's here, by the way. Hello. Hello. It's like you never left. It's like you came back with me. I pretty much did. Yeah. Um, and now I am unpacking lots and lots of bits and pieces. You may have seen um, that me and Joey and Daniel did an autumn swap. We're gonna do a Christmas one. So I have already gathered lots of different bits and pieces that I really want to send them. Where I was quite excited to do the Halloween one, it's like nothing compared to how excited I am to do the Christmas one just because I think I do Christmas quite well and UK does Christmas really well as well. So this time I feel like I've got a lot more choice of things to send them and lots of things that I love at Christmas and like, I don't know, just, I know lots of things they can't get where they are. One being the White Company Winter Candle, which I think they will absolutely love. Saying that, I also purchased myself the, oh my God, the Winter Candle 
that is this size. It is ginormous, but ugh, I really wanted to get it to put in the dining room in the middle of the table because I just thought it would be so good. And it smells so good. Like for me, this candle is like the epitome of Christmas time. Oh, so I'm going to put that out now. Oh, Do you like it? Oh my god. It's a Christmas sprout. Oh my god. Do you know what I feel like? What? That boy in Love Actually, dressed up as the lobster. Oh. Should we put that on? Yeah. You have to work at the same time. Okay. <laughs> that was Poppy's thing. She was like, okay, but I have to do some work. And I was like, okay, but I'm going to make sure you do do some work. work. Whilst I swung around my house in a sprout hat. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to give you guys a sneak peek of joey and daniel's current package oh sneak peek little card and a cushion that i thought they would like because it's it is christmasy because it has like christmas trees and special delivery and presents in the back of the car but it's a very like london themed so i thought that that would be quite nice to send them and then some more like decorative bits because we've both told each other the like themes of our houses for Christmas. We're taking it very seriously. I'm so excited. Poppy, look at me right now. I'm opening a Christmas tree wearing a sprout on my wait, head. Wait, I need to. <laughs> I feel like you need to get at one of me pulling the Christmas tree out of the box. What's in your head? A sprout. <laughs> <laughs> thinking that I'm going to put the tree here in this little corner. I think it would look really cute there. Oh, oh, oh. That is so cute. Little Christmas tree. Oh, it has lights. Okay, I need to plug those in. Done. Look at it. Obviously I need to change my autumn wreath to a Christmassy wreath, but now we have a little mini Christmas tree and I love it. I think either Alfie bought this for me last year or I bought it for myself, but it is a Santa's Final Preparations 1000 piece puzzle. Now, if there's one thing you might not know about me, <laughs> A is that I am literally barking mad, but also I actually really like doing puzzles and I never do them because I start them and then either the space I'm using to do them I need to use for something else so I have to just scrap the whole thing and put it back in the box or um, I just don't find time to do it but I do enjoy doing it I think it's very relaxing so what I did <laughs> was I bought myself a fold away um, or like a puzzle board that you build your puzzle on because then you can move it So if we want to use the dining room table between like now and Christmas, which obviously we will I can pick this up If I put these brackets on and just lift the whole thing and move it which Has completely changed the way in which I puzzle make now. So um, That's the puzzle. I'm gonna set up I also think it's quite fun to do when you're just like chatting with friends just everything really i just love puzzles especially like huge ones like this because oh my god oh my god i actually this is i mean a thousand pieces is more than i more than i anticipated <laughs> let's begin 
Do you start by turning over all the pieces of puzzle? That's what I want to know. Or do you just start looking through and if a piece grabs your attention like an edge, then you take all the edges. I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take all the edges and build the outside. There could be some of you out there that are complete puzzle pros that might say I'm not doing it the right way, but let me know. <laughs> because this is not something that I am going to finish <laughs> in a day. it's Wednesday today and I am in the house on my own because Alfie has gone to Lisbon for a web summit which is all very businessy and exciting hence why I'm not there um, no honestly I don't think talking in a web at a web summit is something I'm quite comfortable with just now um, but he's gone with Dave and um, Alfie's like very into like business and he loves that stuff and so does Dave so the two of them I'm sure will be having a whale of a time. I've just filmed a video hence why I'm turning off my lights. I really enjoyed filming it actually. Let me just turn my camera off. I always forget and then my batteries die. It was a YouTube um, tag that I've kind of made up. I don't know if anyone else has done it. Um, knowing me, I've bloody, I've bloody said in the video like, oh, I don't know if anyone's done this before. I think I've made it up and there'll be someone who's like asked all the same questions and, or something, I don't know. I also filmed my autumn makeup, which I need to edit and upload tonight because I didn't upload anything at the weekend. For some reason, the weekend just disappeared and I was like, what's happened? I haven't had time to film. I haven't had time to essentially do anything. I don't know what happened there. Yeah, so you're getting two videos this week on my main channel instead, which I hope you're happy with. I also just edited my Halloween vlog. <laughs> well, that's a lovely still of Mark there, which again, I hadn't realised I needed to edit. I don't know quite where I've been the last like three days. I think I've just been in like house mode. Like I've been trying to sort the house out. I've been trying to tie up lots of loose ends with um, kind of more worky stuff. I've had lots of products that I need to be testing formulations for, which is very exciting. I think I've just had a lot of like more homey and work like email -y admin stuff to do which has meant that the creative side has oh got a weird hair on my lens which meant that the creative side has sort of been forgotten about but that's the stuff I bloody love so I've just sat and edited my Halloween vlog so again I hope you don't mind that that's like a little bit um late fun times I've got the iPhone X so I set this up yesterday that took a long time. <laughs> I didn't have the right um, software update or something, so it wouldn't work for a long time. Then it asked me for a password that I'm almost 99% sure I never set up, but eventually I did get it right. <laughs> Look at my little wallpaper, it's Nola. It's you! Yes, it is! That's you! <laughs> Hello! <laughs> what are you doing with this foot? <laughs> Generally. I have had a very busy couple of days, so I haven't picked up my camera, um, but now I've got it. Now I've got you, and I have, oh, and I have a boyfriendless house, sad times. But I've got Nala, and that's all I need to keep me company. You're not great with chat, but it's okay. I can look past that because you're so effing cute i'm saying this to her as her eyes are like rolling back into her head because she's falling asleep <laughs> oh actually do you know what i'm gonna do i'm gonna bring my laptop downstairs and edit downstairs with the fire on and a christmas film on because if that ain't goals don't know what is i made the mistake of sleeping with the window open last night because i fell asleep downstairs in front of the fire with my onesie on under a blanket and i woke up 
honestly couldn't breathe <laughs> i think i'd like dehydrated i was like a raisin i'd shriveled up um so i i went to bed with the window open because i was way too hot and um that meant waking up the opposite of a raisin no wait if you're very cold i guess i was just frozen so that was fun and now the house won't warm up <laughs> i feel like all i've done is talked at you I'm sorry. <laughs> I think this is what happens when I just haven't left the house in like three days. <laughs> I get to the point where I'm like, right now Alfie's gone. I need to talk to someone. So that's when I get my camera out and I vlog and I talk to you. Just quickly, I'm going to, oh yes, that is a Christmas wreath on the door. <laughs> just quickly, I thought I would give you a rundown of what this month will entail because if any of you um have been subscribed to either this channel or my zoella channel for a while then you will know that christmas for me is probably the busiest time of year content wise because i film a video every single day for this channel and it's called vlogmas so i film from the first of december up until christmas eve which means there is a video on this channel every day from the second to the 25th yeah that's right um, lots of people do vlogmas in different ways some film the whole of the month some film on the 30th of november up until christmas day um i don't think that's the traditional way of doing vlogmas <laughs> so that's not what i do i do the starting on the first ending on christmas eve and the last two years i did 24 days of zoella which was also a video every single day on my zoella channel I told myself I wouldn't do it again this year because it almost broke me. So I'm not doing it this year. But for those of you that I've seen asking me on Twitter if I'm still gonna be uploading on that channel, yes I am. There's still gonna be lots of fun Christmas content. There's just not gonna be a video every single day because if I'm honest, I'm running out of Christmas ideas, guys. <laughs> that also means that I prepare quite a lot of my Christmas content in November. So there probably won't be as many vlogs this month um because it's technically one of my busier months because i have to tie everything up because i take december off from management and meetings i basically don't have any meetings through december um, my pa does not work from my office here it's like a whole month where i just film and enjoy christmas and i really really look forward to it because it's really, I don't know, it feels like it's time off, but not because it's like you're filming and editing every single day. Um, but I really, really thoroughly enjoy it. So that does also mean I have to tie everything up before the end of November. So this month is busy and in short, you might see less of me, but then you will be sick of me by the time December rolls round. Woo! It is happening. I've got Call the Midwife Christmas special from last year on very happy about this because i absolutely loved it and it's been a while since i've been able to watch call the midwife <gasps> i really hope there's another christmas special this year <gasps> please let me know call the midwife if you've got another christmas special this year that i can get excited about because i love it i got lunch in the oven and i'm about to start editing the video i just filmed a bloody ostrich <laughs> still here still editing although i have just finished but it's now dark <laughs> that's how long it's taken me it's now dark why do i take so long to edit i'm now watching nativity 2 stranger stranger in the manger <laughs> that's an entirely different film danger in the manger it's on prime on amazon so i'm watching it oh my god i'm so excited for christmas oh my god oh my god oh my god oh my god oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. So the film is nearly finished and I'm not gonna lie to you, I think this is the first Christmas film I've ever watched that I don't like. The whole thing has made me feel like I'm on crack. <laughs> not that I know what that's like, but I think maybe it's just very, very, very young. Like I'm talking really small kids. Or maybe, mm, that's not true because a lot of the Christmas films I like are for kids. I think there's too much cheese and like school play songs for my liking i did however love the first one i think this one was just like 
really ramped up, like really ramped up all the singing. But there are elements of it that I did like. Like I love Mr. Poppy as a character. I think he's fab. I don't know why I'm doing like a bloody review of this film. I think it's because it's a Christmas film. And also just because I feel so shocked that I did not like that. <laughs> Hello. Mwah. 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 What are you thinking? <laughs> She's like, please leave me alone. I'm trying to sleep. You don't like the film either. thirsty before watching this. Are you thirsty now? Alfie always says I gulp pretty loudly. And I actually do kind of agree with him. But I can't help it. I think what I'm going to do now is go upstairs, take off my makeup, put on some comfy PJs and read some Christmas magazines in bed. It's time for my nighttime routine. Let's put you in the cupboard. Clean flannel, Lizelle cleanser polish. I do like two pumps of that. So sexy. Wipe it away. Okay, now I'm going to use my Glossier Milky Jelly Cleanser and just do a couple of pumps of that. Get my flannel again and wipe away. Hang up flannel with all other dirty flannels. <laughs> right, now I am going to use my Effaclar Duo. And that, my friends, is all I am doing to my skin tonight. Oh, do you need to take my little earrings out? There you go. All clean, ready for my PJs. This room is so cozy. I've got a little Christmassy candle on down there. Oh, my Christmas magazines. So I bought these when me and Mark did our Halloween shopping, actually. And I have already flicked through a couple, but there are still some that I need to look through. So. I am actually so excited to get into bed. I've got fresh sheets. Oh, you're all probably thinking, oh, don't you miss Alfie? <laughs> but it's so funny because I was having this conversation with someone the other day. I actually quite like just having a night to myself. That sounds like crazy, but it's quite nice. Like, I like having the opportunity to miss Alfie. And I think times like this, they do give me opportunity to miss him. So I can be a bit selfish and I can get into bed and I can read my Christmas magazines and watch watch things that I wanna watch on telly and also um, get to like text him and stuff because we live together. We never like text each other or like speak like that. So it's quite nice when he's away where I can be like, hey, like how's your day? And like, what are you up to? So I actually really enjoy it. Obviously it's only for one night and if this was for like multiple nights then yes of course the novelty would wear off very quickly of having the house to myself but for one night it's very enjoyable. <laughs> I am going to read through my Christmas magazines. This one in particular, what's this one called? This one is called Christmas? Ultimate, oh, I just need to poke myself in the eye. This one is called Ultimate Christmas and it has Mary Berry on it and Jamie Oliver and Candice Brown and lots of cool things and also a free bar of chocolate, <laughs> even though it's dark chocolate, so I won't eat it. Yeah, I'm gonna look through this 
and I will see you very soon. I know I just said bye, but I, I've i got um, a film on now. It's actually Jingle All The Way. Um, but I just wanted to ask something quickly because I was having this discussion with someone the other day and I don't remember who it was. Maybe Holly or maybe Katie or maybe it was Rochelle. It was someone and we were talking about how whenever we were younger we would go to bed and listen to tapes therefore I find it easier now to fall asleep listening to something whether that be a TV program, a film or a podcast or an audiobook whatever it is I have to be listening to something because if I go to go to if I go to sleep and it's silence I think I think I think too much like it's like I haven't got anything else to think about or listen to therefore my mind goes into like overdrive and I don't actually sleep but I find it so relaxing having something on in the background when I go to bed who is with me do you prefer no noise at night time or do you have to listen to something I might do a twitter poll right now because I'm so interested to know how many people listen to things before bed because I've had this conversation with so many people and they're like oh me too hands down and as a kid I always listen to something before going to bed and I was like yeah I think that's what it is I think it's because I did it as a child I've always done it so now I'm like if I'm not listening to something it's weird <laughs> but um yeah just just then as I was thinking about going to sleep I was like I need to ask this question because I need to know I need to know if you're a silent silent before bed kind of person or you need something on in the background let me know good night and I love you <laughs>